It's Transformation Tuesday, and folks, I can't wait to start our discussion on what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be focusing on the importance of mental health, and we're going to even discuss some strategies that you can do today to be able to start taking those steps to being the best you. And our guest today is one of my favorite people. Elizabeth Fry, thank you so much for being with us today. Of course. I'm so excited to be here, Michael. Thank you. Honestly, Liz, uh, mental health is something that's so important. And I know it's something that you're passionate about and that you're helping thousands of people discover all across the country. But I want to talk to you about strategies because I think that we all struggle with different elements of mental health, even if we don't even realize it. And so um, talk about uh, uh, maybe some unique things that we can do to be able to truly become the best that we could be. Okay, well, one thing I want to just put out there right now is I think there is a lot of stigmatism around mental health still, even though we talk about it so much, there's still a lot of people, I think, in my opinion, that are like, oh, this doesn't apply to me. But one thing I'll throw one stat out there, one in five um, Americans deal with mental illness. And I know that that statistic, I know you just said, wow, so you kind of just disprove my point here, Michael, (laughs) but I mean, one in five, it's easy to brush off. But when you hear yeah. like 52 million Americans, that's like, wow, that's yeah. a lot of people. And that's I think that wow. really, it's a, that's a big wow, even bigger wow. And mm-hmm. I think, Michael, you know, you're on my socials. And one thing I share all the time is that you are not alone. And when you hear that number 52 million and you think about that's how many other people are struggling, just like you may be sometimes, it really, I don't know, at least for me, it's comforting to really see those numbers and realize I really am not alone. So I just want to put that out there. If you are struggling, please know that this is not something unheard of and that there are people out there that want to help you. But, you know, if you're not in a place right now where you can go see a therapist, maybe you don't want to open up to a friend yet and really share what you're going to, the best place to start is with you. So Michael, I was telling you about one of the strategies that I love and that is journaling. And I can already hear the sighs and see the eye rolls now (laughs) because anytime I say this to people, they're like, you've got to be kidding me. (laughs) But I would say that you have to start somewhere and just don't put any rules on it. So if that's just opening your journal and writing, the sky is blue, at least there's something on the paper. But once you really get the hang of it, it's such a useful tool because if you're, especially if you're someone who deals with depression or anxiety, you have all of these thoughts that are constantly circling around in your head. Even if you're just dealing with stress, this is a great tool to literally be able to empty your brain out, right? It doesn't have to be coherent sentences. No one else is going to read this, get all of it on paper. And then it's really cool. This is at least the thought process I use with it. You can choose what things you want to put back into your brain. You've emptied it all out. Now, what do you want to put back in? And it's really awesome too. I think that especially if you become consistent with journaling, you'll, you know, get the hang of it. And over time, you'll be able to look back and see just how far you've come. Because one thing with mental health, it is not a quick fix. You know, getting to a place where you feel great sometimes can take time. And I think in my journey, I found that sometimes it can be a little discouraging. You feel like you're not making any progress. But journaling, you get to go back to what you wrote on day one and really physically see all the progress you've been able to make since that first time that you sat down to write. And sometimes that's the encouragement you need to get through your day. So I think journaling is a really unique tool um, that you have. You literally have no excuse not to do it. If you have pen and paper, you can get started right now. And then also maybe work towards opening up to talk to someone who can also help you on your journey. Incredible advice, incredible advice. And folks, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, uh, Liz Fry loves helping people on her social media and she always is posting the most encouraging things. And uh, folks, you're gonna also wanna pay attention to what Liz is launching uh, come May because uh, it's really, really exciting. And those socials are at Elizabeth Fry TV. And we're gonna put all those links for you at ky3.com slash the place. Liz, always good to see you. I always feel so encouraged when I talk to you. Oh, thank you, Michael. You're the best. I appreciate you.